Gordon Ramsay is getting served karma. Are you really blind? <laughs> yes, chef, I am. Gee, you cause a stir out there, literally. Yeah, I didn't mean it, actually. Some hot water for celebrity chef facing some payback. Everyone thought, how is this girl going to cook blind? <sighs> You're going to be judged like everybody else in this competition. Yes, chef. Wretched, come here. Come here. Stop that what we're serving. Get a grip and wake up. What kind of a gives a live crab to the blind chick? Let's give it to her. No more Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> I'm freaking out for her. It pierced me. She's like very easily flustered. What the hell is going on? Honestly, chef, there's just no excuse. I just was flustered. A dream, she says, that turned into a real kitchen nightmare. No one ever really thought that it could be this big. We did not grant her any advantages. Are you stupid? I hate his face. I want to prove you did try to screw me. I'm sorry, can you tell me where I had put the green onion? Green onion. Still in the bowl? Maybe he really wants her out. Get out! I really loved cooking, but I thought it was going to be something I would have to give up. I really have mad respect for that lady. I don't like her. She's weak. I think Christine will win this. As you know, there can only be one winner. Um, welcome. Thank you. Um, first name is? My name is Christine. Christine, you've got five minutes to complete that dish. Thank you. Just in front. Just in front? No, you, you were there. Just a little bit higher, darling. Okay, thank there you. There we are. Thank you. Christine, were you born blind? No, no, chef. Um, when I was uh, maybe about 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with a... I'm sorry, can you tell me where I had put the green onion? The green it's onion? Still in the bowl? Uh, uh, it should be right in front of you. It's right in front of me? Right in front yeah. of your hand. There we are. Okay. I started losing my vision around the same time that I started teaching myself how to cook. But every time my vision would decrease, I would have to teach myself again, how do I use a stove or how do I use a knife? My mother was very overprotective of me, and she didn't let me help her in the kitchen at all. She would tell me to stay away from the sharp knives or get away from the hot stove, so I didn't learn to cook with her. I was often embarrassed of the foods that my mom used to pack for me to take to school. Everyone was disgusted that it was smelly, but I regret to this day never having learned to cook from her. My mother actually died when I was 14, and all of a sudden, part of my childhood was gone and she left me no recipe. I went to a bookstore and bought a used cookbook. I bought a cheap set of knives, pots and pans, and I started reading these recipes word for word and trying to execute these recipes in my small kitchen. Ever since, I've been trying to recreate her recipes. I love the fact that you're tasting everything. I have to, I can't see. <laughs> I really loved cooking, but I thought it was going to be something I would have to give up, not being able to see. I couldn't even make something as simple as a peanut butter jelly sandwich. And I remember getting the peanut butter and the jelly all over the counter and not being able to align the two slices of bread together neatly. And I remember throwing away that sandwich and just thinking like, how am I ever going to cook for myself? Um, the dish does need the sort of stability. It's a staple, done beautifully, but missing the rice. Yes, Jeff, I understand, I'm sorry. <sighs> you know, you're gonna be judged like everybody else in this competition. Yes, Jeff. In the history of MasterChef, we've never had a blind contestant. Your personal challenge aside, for me, that's one of the most delicious dishes I've seen in this competition so far. Do you know what I'm gonna give you? A white apron. A white apron, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Christine's the most amazing woman I think I've ever seen in my entire life. She just amazes me that what she can do. It's delicious. Oh, thank you, Chef. It's fresh, it's fragrant. You cook every freaking time like an angel. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, Seriously. Chef. I've never seen Christine do anything that isn't perfect. You should be incredibly proud. I really have mad respect for that lady. You've exceeded our expectations. As you know, 
there can only be one winner. And that winner... Christine! When I cook, I feel like my mom's spirit is somewhere nearby. If my mom were still here today, I would ask her to teach me how to make her Vietnamese beef noodle soup. Although each time I make it, it gets better and better, it has yet to still capture the memory of my mom. I think all of these things are a tribute to her and an homage to how my mom viewed food. Whether it's trying to get through challenges to win a cooking competition, to just trying to replicate my mom's beef noodle soup, you just have to try over and over until you succeed. Losing my vision taught me to be more fearless in life. If you can't see how steep the mountain is, then you can't fear it. Everyone is very capable, much more capable than they think they are. Regardless of where you've come from, what challenges you face, uh, what sort of a hand you're dealt with in life. You shouldn't be afraid to dream big. Your chances of attaining something if you don't try is zero percent, so you might as well try. Greatest rewards come at the greatest risks.